Hi, welcome back to LCC Designs. Today we're going to be doing a music plaque and we're going to do a little twist, you guys. It's going to be a glow in the dark music plaque just in time for the Halloween theme. So, today's supplies you're going to need are any type of glitters you want to use. You're going to need some pigment colorants. You're also going to need some type of um, glow in the dark powder. You're going to need your shot glass and you're going to need your popsicle sticks. I like to give a big shout out to BBE Crafting and sending me this wonderful mold. If you guys want to purchase, make sure you, you just look at the information there and contact her. Her molds are awesome. Also, we're going to be using the Alphabet Custom Mold, whatever this thing is called. I'm not for sure, but I ordered it off of Amazon. I will put all the details below, okay? Let's get started. For this part right here, you want to add two to three drops of the pigment coloring, then take the end of your popsicle stick to add the mica powders and the glitter. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is going to place the resin after I got them all mixed up and I used my coloring and I put my glitter and everything all together. We're going to use the smoke. Next step is you want to take a handheld heating gun to blend your colors and to remove any bubbles that may be in the mold. Okay, so the next step, you want to let your resin cure from 12 to 24 hours. Then you want to get some type of vinyl, which I have right here. And I got the measurements for this mold. Is, uh, the width is 1.778. The height is 1.475. And these are the printable vinyls that I use. That's the regular white, and this is the clear. For this part right here, you want to make sure you cut it even across. See? So you want to demold. Let's see how it looks. And then if you get a little extra access on the side, just take some type of sanding sponge or uh, um, file and file down your edges. And then you want to get like this little hook thing I found through the front around the house and then just poke your hole in it, turn it around. For this part right here, I used the acrylic paint, add it to the grooves and use a wet cloth to remove the access paint. There you go. And I did cut out some vinyl. I tried the printable um, earlier and it just didn't look right to me. So I put it out some regular vinyl and some chameleon vinyl. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on real quick. Let me 